Hey everyone, Paul with CUDA Power Sports here. We probably get over a dozen questions a day as to what type of carpet staples to use with your bunk carpet when you're wrapping it around a bunk board. So I thought I'd make this quick video here for you. So first off, let's go over the size. We recommend a staple that has a 3 8 crown because uh, that'll fit in most of the uh, DIY type staple guns that are available, and a half inch leg. This is the, this is the the crown, the top, the leg are the legs are are the sides here. We recommend the half inch leg. This will allow you to get through uh, our thicker pile height uh, carpet and sink into the wood to allow that carp that staple to hold uh, over the course of many years. Uh, next question comes down to galvanized stainless steel. And this is a debate that's been going on for a long time, actually. Uh, so at, to cut the chase, we recommend galvanized. Over the years, we have found that both galvanized and stainless steel actually perform pretty much the exact same. And why is that? Uh, stainless steel has a notion that it's not going to rust. And quite frankly, that's just not true. Um, there is iron that is used in the uh, staple in the iron alloy within the staple itself. And that is what actually rusts, especially in salt or brackish uh, water. So there's really very little difference in performance from galvanized to stainless steel. However, the stainless steel costs about three to four times as much. So we say save the money, put that in your in your uh, uh, fuel tank and go from there. If you really are bound and determined to get staples that will not rust, that's a type of staple called a monel, M-O-N-E-L, monel staple. Those say right on them that they are for marine type use. A lot of, a lot of manufacturers of staples for their stainless steel will actually say not for marine use because they want you to buy the model staples. Uh, those will not rust. However, they are considerably expensive. Uh, a pack of a thousand might go for 30 or $40 actually. So uh, it's not all that cost, it's not all that beneficial to go that route. So at the end of the day, we choose galvanized, performs the same, much more economical, put the savings in your, in your fuel tank. Thanks so much.